Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stuart Rogers from Terex Minerals. How are you today? Great, thanks. Thanks for asking. Um, Stuart, I was just explaining to our team how much I enjoyed the Lara Smith piece on TerraX. Um, analyst says TerraX may be the next major player to emerge onto the gold scene. Is it because of where you're located, or what do you think is uh, analyst Lara Smith's angle on why she thinks you're going to become one of the next big players? Well, I think that really speaks to the fact that we are a district. No, a definite district. We've tripled the size of our line position in, uh, within the last year from 129 square kilometers to 420 square kilometers. It's highly prospective land. We have all the most prospective land on either side of a, a major break in a gold cap, a known gold cap such as Yellowknife, where we already have uh, identified high-grade uh, resources on the, on the property. Well, I mean, in this particular district, is it not true you they've already taken out, what, 14 million ounces of gold? Exactly right. We have all the uh, undeveloped ground uh, north and south of those past producing mines and uh, to the east on the other side of the break. So uh, the right, best place to find gold is right beside past producing mines. So in this district scale, this very large scale uh, project that we have happening here in uh, just what, outside of Yellowknife, correct? Yeah, adjacent to Yellowknife. And in particular, you just announced that you've just commenced a new drilling program. Can you give us an update about this high-grade scale gold project that you are leading? What we're doing is uh, we're not going to be drilling yet. We've uh, This is the first summer we've had an opportunity to, to do initial field work on the property. Uh, the other you know, 290 uh, square kilometers that we've acquired. So we started in June with uh, field work, mapping, and sampling, uh, identified showings on the, the new areas that we have. We've done airborne surveys, a LIDAR survey, which is, helps uh, in structural analysis of the project. We fly, we're flying uh, airborne geophysics and we're doing uh, magnetic surveys on the ground. So we're getting prepared for drilling and identifying these targets. So it's going to be a, uh, a district-wide drill program when we begin, which will be later in the, in the season. So we also noticed uh, that both Alan Sexton has joined as VP of Exploration and of course uh, Russell Starr has joined as your board of, board of directors. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Well, you know, Alan Sexton is a very experienced individual. He worked with Joe Cabell at Melodine, which was Joe's uh, discovery uh, a number of years ago, which is now being put into production by Agnico Eagle. It's one of their highest grade and uh, fastest growing deposits. Alan Sexton was his project manager on that for seven years. So he understands how to develop and, uh, you know, a major district scale project. So he's going to be in the field on site leading the exploration efforts to develop this. And he's an individual that's done it before. You know, Russell, his resume speaks for itself. He's a good guy. He's, uh, you know, identified major projects. He's been successful at marketing them and uh, introduced them to, to major players such as Agnico. I guess their name keeps coming up all the time. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of uh, good contacts, a lot of insight that can help us move the project forward as well. So, Stuart, what should we as uh, shareholders expect over the next couple of quarters? Uh, we expect news flow from uh, the results from our field exploration. Uh, well, I think uh, from what we've seen so far, we've been in the field, we've got over a thousand samples, we have 400 in the lab, uh, we're going to have results from that uh, field work, I think you're going to see new targets uh, developed, which is what you really want. We've tripled the size of the land project, but what we want to see is, is gold. And you know, so far with our field exploration, we're getting encouragement. So not only did we acquire additional ground, it looks like it's out of perspective. So you're going to see the results of that, the results of the surveys, and then you're going to see uh, drilling again. So, you know, steady new flow as we advance the project. We are currently promoting Junior Gold Rally Week, telling our Investor Intel audience that now is the time to really look at gold because all of our analysts are anticipating a gold bull market this fall. What are your thoughts on this, Stuart? I can hardly wait. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Tracy.